So guys, it's that time of year as always. It's a what I got for Christmas haul. <laughs> it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Um, I'm Becky and I upload every Tuesday and Thursday so if you haven't subscribed then don't forget to click that down below. Lots of good content coming in 2024 um, and of course give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please 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 let me know down below what you got for Christmas. I would love to hear from you all. Um, just like you I'm also nosy. I love these videos. I had so many comments and messages asking me to do a what I got for Christmas video. So here I am. I feel like you have to do the disclaimer. I'm not bragging. I'm just clearly showing you guys what I got. It might give you some inspiration um, for maybe gifting, uh, you know, loved ones in your life, but also inspiration for what to put on your list in the future. I'm also going to include the two things that I bought in the sale this year, uh, just because why not um and also halfway through this i will be teleporting to uh, my boyfriend's place we have yet to exchange gifts i'm flying over to him on the 28th so oh what was that what was that i don't know i think that was jp's socket falling over uh, so i've yet to gift exchange with him yet so i'll include them when we get round to that um, but first up, oh, and also my brother and sister-in-law have come down with COVID um, over Christmas, which is super unfortunate. So uh, I have no idea when that gift exchange is going to happen. So unfortunately, that's not going to be a part of today's video. So we've got my best friend, Han, mum and dad, and then we'll be JP in the final video. So let's start with Han. The big, <laughs> the big giveaway was the bag, the little gift bag she uh she gave me but she did get me lots of other little goodies as well we like to go hard for each other um we both just like to treat each other at christmas we work together all year um so we kind of know like what each other's looking at and we just like to treat each other so we get each other lots of like little bits and some nice treats as well so first up she got me this really cute machine notepad i I have a soft spot for like Pusheen and stuff, but I also love a notepad. I like post-it notes and stuff like that rather than notebooks. I like stuff that I can just rip off and just like see. Um, so this is perfect. And also so much to do later. I am <laughs> a little bit of a procrastinator. <laughs> I feel like there is um, kind of like a little secret message within the notepad. Um, she also got me this lip balm, which I saw in Chinatown. There was a Korean beauty shop we had to look in. And I didn't end up buying it, but I just thought it was like so, so cute. And she went back to get it me. It's Hello Kitty dressed up as a bear on top of a lip balm. It's so cute. Just like a little, I think it's like an unscented lip balm. To be honest, I don't think you're really buying this for the product. You're more buying it for the lip balm, <laughs> for, the, for the Hello Kitty, sorry. But just super, super cute. And I'll probably just keep it on my desk to look cute and um, some other little bits this chocolate bar is like ombre i think it's been um uh with the airbrush it's been airbrushed with color this is by Ka kakao maya and it is an almond bar but it's absolutely beautiful. You just know that this was not a cheap bar of chocolate. Absolutely gorgeous. And then she also got me, which I'm going to, I think I'm going to take this on the train with me tomorrow. I find it so hard to eat stuff like this because but it does last until May 2024. But it's just so hard to eat because it's so cute. This is just a little iced gingerbread penguin, but it's really, really cute. And we actually had some um, biscuiteers gifted to us this year from the very client and they were so delicious uh, we dunked them in tea um she also got me just some cute little stickers to go with the notepad and she got me this little uh wristlet to put on my phone so it doesn't get nicked and it's super super cute little beads uh she also got me these really cute little earrings i think she got me them because they look a little bit maybe like handbags or like um 
funny little triangles but they're really really cute very elegant for an elegant lady and then finally the makeup bits it's very hard to buy me makeup bits because i buy a lot myself so props to han for like finding me something i didn't have yet um she knew i really wanted to try more of the vive brand which is the which is jamie genevieve's brand uh, she's an influencer so she got me this quad in the shade burn and it's beautiful i really like quads because they're not too like overwhelming this has like can you see it's got like corrugated plastic front which is just like so tactile and then it's just this beautiful like really warm palette i feel like you could do a lot with it a lot oh, just the metallic is like gorgeous um but also the matte shades are just super super versatile um just a really lovely palette and then finally oh, this was the perfect gift for me uh, i literally went on about these in a recent favorites video the charlotte tilbury setting sprays but because i travel so much i do like the travel size I don't think the travel size is particularly good value, but with the amount of traveling that I do, like this is literally the perfect gift for me. Uh, and you get two of the travel size um, Charlotte Tilbury setting sprays. So chuffed to bits of this and will 100% get used because I go through those travel setting sprays pretty quickly. And now I don't feel like worried about going through them which is sometimes it's nice to buy people like their favorite like skincare um stuff that they go through all the time because then they don't feel like worried that they're going to be like using it because they know they've got another one on the way smart uh so up next will be uh what all my what my mum and dad bought me we do like to gift in our family uh I wouldn't say we go crazy crazy but i wouldn't say we go small either it's a healthy it's a healthy haul we'll put it that way and i'm obviously very grateful very thankful uh so i'm gonna <laughs> this year oh no my book's been squished i'll have to find it in a minute but this year was the year my mum discovered laneige and therefore we all got laneige for christmas this is the Heavenly Hydration three-piece set. Um, this is my, a bit of like a tester set. Um, and it comes with... Oh, it's so cute. Oh. You've got, I think, it's a toner and moisturiser called Cream Skin. I think I might have this in a spray, maybe, but I love minis for travel. Also got a mini of the um, Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturiser. I have the eye cream, but very happy to have the face cream as well. And then a mini of uh, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is one of my faves. And talking of lip sleeping mask, I got the candy apple one, um, the caramel apple, sorry. Uh, this smells so good. Um, it was a Christmas limited edition scent. Um, so it comes in like a nice green jar and it's kind of like a nudie color, but I don't think that will come. I don't think you'll see it on the lips. Oh my God, it smells really good. Really, really nice. She also got me this night mask by don't know where it is in the bag so we might get to that in a bit um and i say she is obviously for my mum and dad but we know the game don't we guys uh, mum and dad also got me this real techniques brush set this is the own natural set um i did say that i just wanted to kind of re-up on some of my favorite um real technique brushes some of the brushes i've been using i think are probably like 10 years old and while brushes technically last forever sometimes you just need to refresh them so uh this was a really lovely set from real techniques real techniques are you know they're such great brushes super reliable and um a great price for like like how good they are so really happy with that um my mum also got me um this flamingo 
measuring cup set uh as like a little kind of joke from obviously the the christmas ad that i made this year <laughs> she was like i could have bought you so many flamingo things and i was like well thankfully you only bought me one thing because I don't want to end up with <laughs> flamingo stuff because I feel like we're heading that way. Um, and then one of my favorite things to receive for Christmas are some jelly fruits. I love jelly fruits. These are like beautiful jelly fruits. There's Christmas trees and wreaths and stars and they are like hefty. I think they might be double layered, maybe, or they're just like thick. Um, it's a very heavy box. Um, just like a really beautiful box of jelly fruits. Um, then she got me, well, <laughs> let me open this first. She did get me a Christmas ornament because I mentioned that I liked it, but never ended up buying it. It's a pack of buttons. I just thought it was so um, unusual. It was from a really fancy shop in Winchester. Um, and I just loved, I love anything mini and it's such a, unique ornament so i'm gonna have to wrap that away i didn't decorate this year just due to life um, i really want to decorate next year um because like i did miss looking at all my decorations and stuff but it is what it is um but yeah hopefully next year i will decorate again um and then she did get me this makeup bag i think i'm actually going to use it uh for when i go see jp start using it why not um, I've always wanted one of these Space MK makeup bags. Don't ask me why. Do not ask me why, but I just think they're like so nice. They're so sturdy and well made. This was, I think, a limited edition like Christmas one. And um, it's got this like holographic plastic, like see through bit. I think you can technically use these in um, cabin bags. I think it always just depends on the airport. Different airports tend to have different rules. Some are very strict about what is cl classed as like a see-through bag. Um, but yeah, I just think it's so, so pretty. And I really like it. And I've always wanted one. Um, then my mum got me a filthy book. <laughs> I don't think she knew it was a filthy book when she bought it me. I do have Icebreaker upstairs. I still need to read that one. We kind of have a bit of an in, uh, an ongoing joke between me and mum. I recommended her Pumpkin Spice Cafe um, before I got to the end of it. <laughs> and then I was reading the end of it and I was like, oh no, <laughs> it was full of filth. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of the joke we have at the moment where it's, just, it's kind of a weird joke but, but anyway she picked this up from tesco's just because she thought it looked kind of like a cute book that i'd be into um but she obviously didn't look too far because the first page is like x-rated 18 and over so i've heard that this author hannah grace pretty raunchy stuff um but yeah i don't know how i feel about reading this in public so i don't know if i'm going to read this on the plane um but it does yeah it looks good little coffee and stuff so i'm hoping it's like autumny wintry vibes and a bit sexy <laughs> then mum also got me this bottled baking um cookie and cream muffin mix but i'm gonna have to make this at mum's because i don't own a muffin tray so we'll have to arrange that then my main gift I've wanted this perfume probably now for two years and I've never um, pulled the trigger myself. It is the Angel Share Perfume by Killian. This is uh, an expensive brand, it's expensive perfume. And the price recently has just gone up and up and up and up. Um, it's been crazy. I luckily managed to find it at Heathrow Duty Free and i have a red by duffy account so i also get seven and a half percent off duty free too so um i did buy this uh for mum to give me because uh i wanted her to save a little bit of money on it and basically killian um he is the son he his father i think owns the hennessy estate as in like the cognac brand so this range of perfumes is inspired by cognac and apples and um like spirits and that's why it's in this like crystal decanter 
bottle like reading about the perfume is just so interesting but it smells so good um oh my god it smells like like a, a harrods apple pie <laughs> the best apple pie in the world it smells so yummy so delicious one job for me to do um in the new year will be to go through my perfumes i have racked up quite the collection and i need to like get rid of some of the ones i don't use anymore so that's a job for future becky um then 90s i said to my mum, i want to do 90s so she took that very seriously um we both go for yours 90s because of the size range and they had a really 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 good offer on before christmas so um i always get the 30 32 because i like them really really big so this one i think has got like lots of sloths on it i need to work out what one i'm taking with me to um jp's this one says duvet day and it's kind of like um like university inspired maybe this one's really cute i think i'm gonna save this one for like the summer it's got like different cocktails all over it i've not opened any of them up yet this one says follow your dreams which is really cute it's giving a love island and i love that and then this one says sometimes the writing is a little this think positive feel positive live positive live laugh love um that's okay on 19s as long as it's as long as i'm not wearing this out but i will say i love the color and it's that kind of like i think it's called heathered material so i love this kind of material <laughs> even if the slogan is a little cheesy <laughs> and this is my favorite one um i think i'm gonna take this one it says tonight tonight is gonna be popping i love this one <laughs> that one's really cute so i think that one is gonna come with me to monaco um oh my god look at the mess <laughs> um oh here's the other Laneige product my mum loves this um this is the Cecilia sleeping mask it moisturizes soothes and softens and um yeah my mum absolutely loves this and she really wanted uh, me to try it as well and then i think the rest is like little bits of bobbies oh, she got me a uh, my pack of my favorite lindors the strawberries and cream it just tastes like a mcdonald's strawberry <laughs> it's so good it's so good and um, then these were so cool um i <sighs> I didn't open these guys especially for you. Um, I really wanted to try them on Christmas Day, but here we are. I wanted to show you. These are like postal. You could post this to someone. Postal cocktails. Um, they are they are strong as well. They are two point two units, twenty two percent volume each. Uh, they're by Neo Cocktails, and Mum got me the Cosmopolitan, which has got kettle one and contro in it so legit proper spirits in there and then she also got me a christmas margarita which is um an apple and ginger uh, margarita um how cool these are absolutely fabulous um i feel like this is such a great little gift especially if you're not seeing the person uh, and you're having to post them something i think you could get away with that in a large letter maybe uh but i love that um i definitely want to like learn more about the brand um mum picked them up she said in john lewis uh this <laughs> is a chocolate bar called fatso <laughs> um it is the finest colombian dark chocolate nan's stash big peanut toffee and digestive biscuit bar and basically it's just a, a big fat a big fat bar of chocolate like it's chunky it is dark though so um i might take this over and see if uh jp wants to give it a go i think mum was thinking more about how cute the packaging was maybe the inside it but i appreciate the four to be fair the packaging and the branding is so iconic uh 
Uh, got some more bits. Oh, she got me a little lip balm from um, by Terry. Um, I love by Terry lip balms. This is a little ornament. Um, and she popped that in the little makeup bag. Um, and I've been really, really getting into lip balms and stuff. And this one's really nice and like creamy. It is a little bit rosy though. So if you don't like rose scented stuff, you probably won't like that. But um, I think it's very nourishing. So I'm all for it. Uh, some incense sticks, but mum, for my birthday, can you get me an insect stick holder? <laughs> they do smell really good, though, so I think I'm going to have to, like, work out. If you've got any tips, guys, on how to use an incense stick without an incense stick holder, that'd be great. And then this sounds amazing. It's a Biscoff white chocolate bar, but it's, like, full of the cream. Full of the cream. So can't wait for that, guys. And we're getting to the end um well, kind of getting to the end uh i've already opened these uh candy kitten eaten mess these are my favorite candy kittens and i know mum loves to buy me them because they're cat shaped mum also got me this really really cute little tiny cat plate like it's so tiny and cute and i think i'm gonna put like earrings and stuff in it somewhere on my desk or bedside table this is so cute it's a teeny tiny see i love anything mini um tiny 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 brush and it's so soft i don't really know what this brush is meant for but i feel like i want to put it in my makeup bag so i can kind of like you know when i get like the little marks there from my glasses and concealer i can kind of like pat that out because it's quite a dense little brush so it's by a brand called uh basha 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 i think it's french um so obviously my pronunciation of that is probably not very good um and then last little bit a pack of slip thin the skinny hair bands i wear these every day all day every day funny thing is i've just bought some from um tk max but i'll take some more <laughs> um absolutely love these i really need to like i need to get a little pot to put them all in i am getting rid of all my aldi ones so i bought the Lacura ones i think they were four for five pounds they fell apart the silk was poor quality um so it really just shows you that these slip hairbands really are worth investing in i wear mine day in day out and i've never had one break on me and some of them i'm literally wearing for like months at a time it's more the elastic that goes in the actual silk but the silk of the aldi ones not good um and then some little <laughs> chocolate sanders they're so cute look at their little red noses absolutely love them uh so yeah that oh and this well yeah because mum will be mad if i don't show you this um i <laughs> i like to i i want to watch youtube videos in bed um but my arms hurt so this i can just put here and i can just watch youtube in bed and i don't have that <laughs> she got this in tesco and then um i think i got some like fudge and like a the m s what was it called the 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 elf jelly munch as well um oh and a big box of hotel chocolate but it's over there and i've forgotten to bring it over but the big reef box which wow what a lovely gift that was um and then my final little sale purchases but don't go anywhere because you'll be seeing what jp got me for christmas um in a bit um i know we just talked about the slip thin hairbands but they launched this kind of like mediterranean italian um style collection last summer i loved it but i was not paying 39 pounds for these scrunchies uh you've got one that's got like lemons and oranges on it a gingham one and this gorgeous blue turquoise one i thought they were stunning but you know 39 pounds for three this is a bit steep um got them for 21 pounds so very happy um, and they're just going to fulfil all of my um, Sicilian fantasies. And to go along with that, I did post a link for this, guys. I do try and, um, over on Instagram, at Becca Wren, I do post 
um some like sale finds and stuff like that so i think this is already sold out uh, but i did post about this on the 23rd is when i bought this in the selfridges sale it is the jacquemuse basket bag i don't know what the official name is le petit panier in light brown this was originally 375 pounds jacquemus is kind of like it's like a mid-tier brand like it's not like super 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 duper super duper pooper scooper expensive but it ain't cheap either and i've wanted a little designer basket bag um to go on holidays with <laughs> um, and they've always just been like Lueve do one celine do one and they're all just like a little bit expensive for like what they are which is a basket um this was reduced to 200 pound which i know i know guys it's still a lot of money but i'm really happy with it <laughs> uh so it does have this little like pocket thing at the front you can't really do much with that i feel like it's more for decorative you know it's more to get that jacquemus logo on there um, and then it has got all this gorgeous leather trim i love the color because i feel like it's very traditional for a basket bag um, and I, what i liked about this one as well is it does have like a little clasp to keep the handles together um there's also a little clasp in here as well obviously you're not leaving anything like super valuable in here uh, because you know it's pretty open uh, and another thing i liked about this bag so many things i like about this bag um is that it's got really nice long handles that i can put over my shoulder um and yeah it's really nice so this is my little christmas gift to myself there wasn't that much else that i really fancied for christmas this year so um in the sales so i thought i'd just go all in on this bag um it has now i think unfortunately sold out but i have seen some other sites they've had um some other colors i think there's a pink um that's gone in the sale so definitely like do a little google search and you might be able to find it but i can't wait for summer now it's so nice quality and i just feel like this kind of thing never goes out of fashion um and yeah as long as i look after it i'll be using it for years to come so yeah now over to Becky in a few days time in Monaco. So guys, it's a few days later and I'm at JP's, <laughs> if you can tell. Um, and we get it changed a few days ago and uh, <laughs> we really need to tidy the flat a bit. So I thought I'd film today. So I'll just kind of go through like small to big. I think that's probably the best idea. Um, obviously you got me like chocolate and stuff like that. And I'm monster not been eaten. Um, but first up, this, I had no idea what this was when I pulled it out of the bag, but it's actually for a Stanley cup. Um, so it's like a little bag that you can put your cup in. Um, and like the handle, I think you put this through the handle and then it has a little pocket that's probably big enough for your phone. Um, and then little pocket for like i guess like lip gloss or something um super super cute in this kind of like cream color that will go with everything um and then we also follow um this illustrator called quite nice um i was actually going to get jp one of their t-shirts for christmas but he ended up getting me um one of their tea towels with all the different pasta shapes on and then it also tells you like what sauce it goes with and um, they do t-shirts tea towels oven gloves all sorts of stuff and it's all like really really cute like kind of like hand drawn like doodly style um and they do like recipe t-shirts with like apple spritz avocado toast like loads of different like popular meals so it's a really great gift idea for anyone who has like a signature dish and we both love pasta <laughs> so that worked out really well um diptyque i feel like jp gets me a diptyque candle every year it's kind of like a tradition uh, so this year he got me the cotton candle from the christmas collection um i'm really glad he got me this scent because obviously it's not kind of christmas anymore so this will be perfect for january because it's a very like clean clean fresh scent it's also really really pretty like diptyque's always just like spot on in terms of design um so i'm really excited to burn this probably like 
either in my kitchen or in my like office space um it really does smell like the best fresh clean laundry you've ever had in your life i am trying to be better at burning my candles and using them rather than <laughs> hoarding them uh, that obviously came with a load of samples if you ever order from diptyque they always send it in really nice cloth bags as like gift wrapping and you'll always get some like um mini little samples which are always nice and they also sent um a scented a perfumed notebook this is really strong um i do love notebooks though and i've never had a diptyque one it's actually really useful for work but it's so strong like i wonder if you could rub it on yourself and like actually get the perfume off um so i feel like if i use that at work <laughs> people would complain <laughs> um but yeah that was nice as well um and then jp went to sephora because he knows that's like my favorite place on earth he got me the this mango hand mask um which i'll probably use soon to be honest because my hands are quite dry um so that was just like a little cute stocking stuffer um and bless him for like going into sephora <laughs> very difficult when also your girlfriend has a lot of makeup already uh he then picked out this nars uh power matte lipstick um in the shade too hot to hold and it's a really really pretty um it's like red without being too red um which i feel like is perfect for me because i i don't mind wearing the occasional red lip but i feel like this is much more wearable i also love how the packaging like matches the product boop, boop, boop. see it's kind of like a more like neutral kind of red really pretty um and then he also got me some stuff from gucci um he got me the new concealer which is so pretty and he knows that i'm probably like the fairest shade so that's what he went for um in the shade fair 12c look how pretty look how pretty the packaging is so nice um and then he also got me the matching powder this is just called beauty powder <laughs> and he got that in zero zero which i'm guessing is like the translucent translucent shade and this oh my god it's so pretty guys it comes in obviously a little dust bag for your compact but it's like a very like vintage style compact it's so pretty pink and gold um and then you just have the powder i think i'm gonna like have this in my handbag because it's so pretty like you want to like get it you want to like take it out and then underneath you like push that up and then you have a little puff how cute boop, 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 boop. Uh, so yeah, that was such a nice little combo. And then finally, the B is something from Jimmy Choo. Uh, so we always have a look at Jimmy Choo in the outlets. Because um, there's quite a lot of outlets near JP. So we're always having a little look in Jimmy Choo. Um, I've never bought any shoes from Jimmy Choo because I have quite wide feet. There's a couple of like trainers that I've been looking at. So now I've got these, I might consider buying a pair of shoes to kind of go with them but he got me these really pretty jimmy choo hoop earrings i really like kind of gold quite like simple jewelry um and these were really unusual like i didn't even know jimmy choo did jewelry and they're quite classy they're really pretty they're also really lightweight which is perfect because um, I have had earrings in the past and they were very heavy. Um, and yeah, they look really, really cute on. Um, and the packaging was really cute. Like it came with like gold ribbon and like this like flower thing. Um, and I do think they also come with like a little dust bag in here, but I'm going to keep them safe in the box. But I will say, if you do buy these, um, you, you will have to get your own backs because they came with this little normal kind of gold butterfly clasps, I think they're called, and it fell off um when i was at a party the other night so obviously like i managed to save them and i could feel that it was gonna like come out um so i was like very aware but yeah definitely get like rubber stoppers 
but yeah that is everything i got for christmas let me know down below what you got um and i hope you have are having a great start to the new year and i'll see you all very soon bye